Hello, today is uh, Sunday, the 30th day of June 2013. This will be a very fast silver update. My name is Derek, and I'm going to go over just one chart and an older chart from about three quarters of a year ago. Back on the QE Infinity tops, prices back then about $35, today about $19 and change. So it's only down about 40% from this point. Back when it was already down 30% from the previous high. One of the things that I was talking about then, say you're in this area here, you're at $30 silver and you wanted to buy. Well, you really had three options in my opinion. One, you could just bought at that point. Two, wait for confirmation that this was going to be a bull market. And what I need to see is the bear market to show confirmation that it's a failure. And for that, I take high divided by low to the power of Fibonacci, which is 61.8%, multiply the low, the number then was 38.91. Therefore, for me to confirm it was, uh, the bear market was done, the regain, uh, the resumption of the bull market was in play, I need to see a break above here and have some sort of pattern like this for me to say, okay, it's time to buy. And just because Fibonacci is 39, you pretty much know that if you're buying on strength, it's going to be about 42 or so. Of course, that never occurred. The alternate was waiting for it to sell off so much that you were just going to buy so cheap. So the bet, the wager was back in here on 30, I want to get uh, $10 cheaper saying that it's probably going to sell off before it breaks down. Because if I'm going to wait at 30, if it goes down to 20, I'll buy. Or I'm going to have to maybe pay an extra 10 plus and wait for the confirmation. So by waiting for that, you would have won big time. Now, there's really multiple ways of playing it or two things you have to look at. One, your criteria has to come into play. Like I was saying, you have to break above here. Then you have to successfully adjust the message of the market to ensure that it is confirmation break. Number two, if it goes low enough, you have to pick a number and then... Will that be your number? You can say, yeah, I'm going to make a bottom of 1750, yet if the bottom is 18, you're not going to get in. It's sort of like in 2008, if when it was going down so much, I'm going to wait for 8. Well, the bottom was 846. So if you waited for 8, how well did you adjust the message of the market to get back in? Now, today, it doesn't have to hold and break above here for the selling to be a failure because the low has changed. It's no longer 2610. What we'll do is we'll take the high of 49.81. The low is now roughly around 18. So we'll put this to the power of 0.618%. Multiply 18 again, which now gives us about 33 and three quarters. Pretty much this line here. So for it to be a confirmation that this selling is over, I need to see it hold and stay above 33 and change, which means at less than 20, it's got to gain about 60 plus percent to confirm that the selling from 2011 is that of a failure. So right now, if you're waiting for confirmation of a bull market, you're insane in my opinion, just buy now because it is so, so cheap. At the same point, if you're waiting for 1750 or any level that's lo lower than it's been so far, and it happens to bottom, say higher, then you're going to have to adjust the message of the market and determine when you want to get in. And I'll, uh, considering I'm waiting for 1750, I'll be updating you on that as we continue on further. So just to sum up, it's like a game. You're at 30. Okay, should I buy here? Well, if you wait for this type of game, if we, you are right and it does go lower, you'll save about $10 or so an ounce because instead of buying at 30, you'll buy at 20. If it doesn't go there and you're waiting for a confirmation, you might be buying at 42 or so. It would cost you over $10 an ounce or so. So that's really the nature of this game that I've been talking about. I wanted to go over it today now that, of course, the lower end has been into play. So that'll be it for today. And I'll uh, talk to you within the week. And take care. Bye-bye.